Hey everyone, we are going to wrap up this project. So I would like to run through some directions. A few might be repeats, but you'll learn a few tricks along the way and you'll learn how to finish off this first project. So I've asked you to produce a collection of 25 five second clips, each of which is a clip that you could use that is well shot, well exposed, no camera shake. All right, so that was the challenge. Then I asked you to create titles, and if you remember, uh, it is simply Control T. Whoops, my bad. Um, Control T, a title. I'm going to actually label my titles, and we're simply going to place them in front of the relevant shots. So this first shot is going to be a wide shot. I want to show you a trick right now so that I can center this easily. I'm going to click the arrow and I'll push these two buttons. Boom, boom. Now it's centered. Okay, so that's my first title, wide. I'm going to drag it right in front of my clip. All right, it's going to play for five seconds and then I want to go right to my clip, but I didn't. I went to black. So I'm going to push the plus key a few times because I want to get rid of this space. And to get rid of that space, let me hit the plus a few more times, I want to make sure I'm on the arrow key here. I'm going to right click and ripple delete. And you'll see that snugs it right up to the clip. Oh, whoops, it's not a wide shot. Well, it is. It's a depth shot. So let me quickly change that. I'll double click my title and everything's going to be the same. I just want to change my words. Wide, I highlight, type depth, all done. And now it's a depth shot. All right, now I have a lot of clips here. I'm going to hit the forward slash key so that I can see everything. And I see I've started off with a gap. So I want to click this gap, right click, ripple delete that. Now my next shot, Oh, kind of a nice angle, depth, pedestal. Let's pull this down. I'm going to again hit Control T. Um, let's call this an angle. And if I can type, there we go. I want to hit the arrow key in the title box and center my title. I'll close that. I'm going to pop this right at the end of my previous clip. And so that I can snug this up nice and tight, I'm going to right click and ripple delete. And I'm going to keep doing that. Here's a bad shot. Let's get rid of that. Let's find something else fun really quick. Oh, well, here's a nice, for the sake of this, because of the size of this, it's a wide shot, but I'm actually going to call this almost, a, well, it's still a wide shot. So let's again, control T, uh, wide two this time. And let's go ahead and name this. Um, I'm going to give this a slightly different name. It's actually moving through the well, I'm going too long. Frame. So I'm going to hit a return. And again, I want to center this box. And I actually this time want to center my text. So I'm going to hit the T, highlight my text, and I'll hit this center piece. Okay, that was right above. All right, let's move this big one right in here, and I'm going to put it right in the middle for kicks. You'll see there's my shot. Here's my title. And here's some blank spaces. So this is a little space to work. I'm going to hit the plus key again. And I want to right click and ripple delete that. Right click, ripple delete this. Okay, so I'm going to go on. Now, yes, my shots are different length. I think everyone's at least five seconds. 
and there's no extra junk or stuff that I don't want in here. Let's say there is, though. Let's say at this shot, like, wow, wait a minute. That ship just left the frame. Do I want that last piece? Maybe I don't need it. I'm going to actually trim that. And now I'll right-click and ripple delete that. Okay? So I want to see all my clips again. I'll hit the forward slash key. I'm going to get rid of all that stuff. Let's imagine this is my full 25 shots. Now I need to render this file. So I guess you can't see it from here, but I'm going to go to the top toolbar, click Sequence, and Render Into Out. That will render everything. And all it's doing is it's really digitizing all my titles, if I made any changes to this video, if I did anything like uh, adjusted color or anything like that, it's going to take care of that. So this is rendering a little slowly, but that's okay. Hang out with me for a second. Um, I think it'll be good. If you find that you're rendering and it is crazy slow, as in not moving, then chances are you might have some, uh, maybe you have a setting wrong, maybe you have some footage that's really high-end stuff. Um, just let it go for a bit, and certainly if you run into a jam, give me a call. So you'll see pretty quickly it went from a very slow 25 to just about 100%, and maybe you can hear my computer fans cranking. It's doing a lot of hard work. So this is not a time to have uh, um, other things open, like uh, the internet or um, anything else. Take a, take a chill for a minute, go walk around and see what other people are doing. It'll start playing instantly, and here's where I can just double check for any flaws. In this case, I'm going to call this totally good. Now I want to turn this in. I can't turn in my Premiere file. So again, my apologies, you can't see this. I'm going up to the top toolbar to the word File, and it comes down to Export, and I'm going to export my media. Now what you are doing is you're making an independent video file, and there are a ton of settings. I shot this. You can see how I shot it. 1920 by 1080. That's full HD. I used actually 30 frames per second, or in this case 29.97 and the other stuff we'll get to in due time. I'm going to change these settings, and I'm going to export this as H.264. That's what I want you to pick. Don't pick Blu-ray. H.264. And this preset, we're going to go way down. We have nice HD footage. So we're going to keep it that way. I'm going to say HD 1080p 29.97. And I'm going to give this a name. Now here's where I know where my, my file will go. So you can now browse and put it in your folder. Go to desktop, find your folder, and keep going. Okay? I'm working on a Mac. It's a slightly different system, but you get the same thing. I'm going to label it. I'm going to give it my name, Dave Boardman, and this was 25 shots. Okay? And it's that simple. I'll say save. I want to double check my settings and output. And yep, I know where it's going. Dave Boardman desktop. That's the name. 1920 by 1080. Everything else looks great. And I'm going to go ahead, I see how big my file will be, almost 300 megabytes, and I'm going to export this. That's all. This will now export. I will take that file from my folder, and I'll turn it in. Okay? Thanks for your attention, and raise your hand. Let me know if you have any questions.